In the markets of Taiwan's capital city, Taipei, you can find seemingly every creature. And it's not just choice meat that's for sale, but nearly every other animal part as well. The Chinese sometimes complain their countrymen will eat anything. Very little is taboo. And if there's one Taiwanese gourmet who can turn the most exotic fare into a delicacy fit for an emperor, it is Chef Ping Xing Cho. Mr. Cho may be Taiwan's most highly respected chef. And tonight he will host a very unusual dinner for some very special guests, including several of Taiwan's top food critics. The dish he's chosen to prepare is so taboo, it may be one of the few things many Chinese refuse to eat. The penis of the bull. So this was freshly killed today? Yes, it was killed this morning. This is one entree that challenges the diners and the chef alike. If not prepared well, the meat is sinewy and tough, and inside is the bull's urinary tract. You have to cut it open and wash it clean. If you don't, then you'll have the taste of urine in your food. Could this really be a meal prized for centuries by Chinese emperors? Traditionally, it was considered a potent aphrodisiac, the Chinese version of Viagra. For help with his recipe, Chef Cho is turning to his friend, Dr. Zhen Yu Li, a specialist in Chinese medicine. Dr. Li knows exactly what combination of herbs to prescribe to complement the meat. Is bull penis more effective than Viagra? Oh, yes. As soon as it hits the tongue, the bull penis jump starts the brain and enhances the sexual desire. I guarantee we're going to make them very happy. Chef Cho leaves the herbs to steep in one pot while he stews the meat in another. It will take four hours to cook. For the Chinese, a chef is like a doctor, and every meal is considered preventative medicine. Here, nearly every item is believed to have a specific effect on the body. The Chinese believe that what you eat is what you treat. So if you eat a pig's brain, then you will treat a human's brain. Likewise, eating a bull's penis is thought to increase blood flow to the genitals and boost a man's stamina for sex. People don't eat these things every day. You just couldn't take it. <laughs> in his kitchen in Taiwan, Chef Cho is finishing four hours of work, and he's ready to welcome his guests. Among them are the leaders of Taiwan's premier culinary associations, men and women who can make or break a chef's reputation. Even for these experts, this meal will be a rare treat. Most of them have never eaten bull penis before. Still, no one wants to be the first to dig in. Even in Taiwan, there are food taboos that can make connoisseurs hesitate. It's a little scary. But soon, the verdict is in. It's just like eating a piece of beef with tendons. That is why Chef Cho is so great. He was able to serve bull penises in such a way that you can't tell which part of the penis you're eating. It's high praise. With his power to transform the taboo into the tantalizing, Chef Cho may win new converts to this ancient delicacy. Diners who may seek it out, not just for its romantic and medicinal effects, but also for its taste.